Okay guys, this is what you're looking at, and today we have another video on the Vision Tactical Sheath. The first one, I was pretty much just giving y'all an overview of my thoughts and reviewing over the sheath itself, what it was made of, how it worked, blah blah blah. So now this video, I'm going to show you how to properly attach it to your Molly setup. So first step here, we're going to go ahead and put the Malice Clip on the way we plan to use it. Since I want my blade pointing up, knife handle pointing down. I'm going to have the mouse clip going to where the actual part where it clips into is going to be facing up towards the blade. So, it's going to be like such. And then, we're going to have the actual paracord running through the top because this is what makes it most stable. So now you're just going to go ahead and run this mouse clip through your molly, just like so. And effectively, once you put this on, you can run out there and play with your sheet. Okay, so just like that, you know, it's attaching all the way. When it is flush or protruding out, the actual end of the mouse clip is going through the retaining piece. So now, effectively, you can go and play. But this is what you get. You get all this extra movement, and of course, we don't want that. We want tight tolerances. So you're gonna go ahead and just pull your paracord, even it out, make sure it's going through the top good. Then, we're gonna go ahead and run it through our molly straps. Now we have effectively run our paracord through our rose of molly, double checking to make sure we are still keeping the paracord even, give it a nice pull again, and then we're going to run it through the top, just like that. So, and as I said, this is just, it's overall it's just going to make this sheath that much better to use. So now, Effectively, that's going to be the setup. As you see, a lot less vertical movement and just slightly a little bit less horizontal movement. But we really wanted to move that vertical movement out of the picture. So now we flip over your whole setup. Um, for a vest, you're not going to have to do this. It's going to be a little bit harder to tie. But with a belt, I can just flip it over. This is just to kind of keep it tight while we tie it. And we're just going to do a simple double knot. One, two, just like that. And it says I might remove this in the future if I plan to put something else in the Molly estate or the other uh, real estate. I'm just going to tuck my paracord under. I'm not going to melt it or cinch it in place, which is definitely a good option if you plan to keep your sheath there forever. But I don't plan to do that. Okay, guys, so here's the knife. And essentially, as I said, I have the handle pointing down, just easier for me to pull. And then it should be very smooth, as you can see. The knife's only moving when I'm moving the whole rig. So when you get a pull, it comes right out. That's exactly what you want. And you want the same thing for when you're putting it back in. That's another really great thing about using this paracord. You can actually find where your holster is. It just goes right back in. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not checked out the review on this sheath, make sure to go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description below. And guys, don't forget I will be making one more video on the sheet if you are interested. I will be using an airsoft stencil to paint what you're looking at on top of this sheath. Just something cool to try. And until next time, this has been What You're Looking At Production. I'm out.